Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. Uh, this is going to be for the next seven days. I'm just trying to look up the date right now. Hold on one second. So from the 12th to the 19th, so basically for the week ahead, um, could say the 13th through the 20th. It's basically for next week, right? Or the week that you, seven days from the date that you watch it. So we're going to go ahead and say the 12th to the 19th. Uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, what do we have? What do we have for Leo? Mm, this looks good. Opportunity or windfall. So there may be an opportunity or windfall that is coming your way this week. That would be nice, wouldn't it? What do we have for Leo? That's a pile. We're not taking a pile. Here we go. We had two that fell out. Clean slate, starting with a clean slate. So you may be starting over on a new project or starting a new chapter of your life, creating a new story. This is starting with a clean slate. You have the uh, pencil, right? You have the, the uh, opportunity to create whatever you want. There is some sort of karma here, justice. Um, I'm not sure if there's something that is happening. Maybe this is the end of a karmic cycle because this is a new beginning. Okay, so there's something karmically that is happening for you. Um, there's a realignment. The scales are being aligned. All right. Um, it is going to be a karmic week where, you know, something that you may have happened a while ago is coming back around to be completed now. Uh, that's what it looks like to me because this is a new beginning. Okay, this is a new beginning. So there's some, I feel like there's a karmic debt or something that is being paid off, all right? Um, there's gonna be a realignment and you're gonna be uh, starting on a new path, building, I mean, starting a new chapter. I mean, that's what that is. So what do we have for Leo? Opportunity or windfall. I mean, that's very positive. I'm just gonna cut the deck. Oh, I have the Six of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Swords reversed. Now, the Six of, there's been an abuse or an injustice. This is an injustice. Okay, this is an injustice, an abuse of generosity or uh, an abuse of power even. Uh, a lost opportunity, uh, not giving. There's, a, there's Somebody's not giving. They're not uh, or they're not receiving. Could be either way. Six of Pentacles reverse could be a loss. I mean, there could be a loss of money. I don't know if that happened in the past. This is the basis of the reading. Six of Pentacles reverse, one-sidedness, lack of reciprocation, uh, some sort of loss. But this is an obstacle that is being removed. So there is an obstacle that is being removed. I feel like there's something that is strings attached. You've been engaged with something where there's been abuse of generosity or something like that, strings attached charity or something like that um being taken away something may be taken away as well there's been some sort of restrictions or there's been some sort of confinement or prison you know this is coming out of prison coming out of confinement coming out of restrictions an obstacle is being removed there's been some sort of lies um abuse of power strong control st strong controlling energy Somebody has been trying to control a situation and overly much, too much, too much. And they're about to lose. They're about to lose. An obstacle is being removed. There's been an abuse. There's been some lies. The scales are going to be realigned. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe even theft. Maybe even theft. First card out. Death reversed. So holding on is getting old. Uh, let's get the card to go with that. Three of pentacles reversed. There's a, somebody that doesn't respect others. Now it could be you or 
And so if you're the cross watcher, it could be the Leo. If you're the Leo, it could be the person that you're talking about. We have death reversed, three of pentacles reversed. That's lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness, doesn't have respect. We may have somebody here that doesn't have any morals. I don't know where that came from, just came out of my mouth. Uh, death reversed, holding on is getting old. This needs to end. There's uh, disloyalty here. There's some sort of disloyalty. King of Pentacles. That's the, that's the main focus of this reading as well. King of Pentacles is about money. It's about stability. It's about security. It's about uh, long-term stability and money, 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 money. There's some sort of greed here materialism I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn doesn't have to be we also have Scorpio we also have Libra we got somebody here that is very selfish that is very greedy they don't work well with others they lie you do need to be careful there could be a third party situation here somebody it feels like somebody is looking they're looking for money you may be receiving an offer from somebody as well that does have money. Because I just saw that windfall card over there and then I had the king of pentacles. There is somebody that does have money here, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. They're stable. They've worked hard for uh, financial security, whether it's you or the other person. Three of wands in the upright in the past. Eight of Pentacles, present, so that's putting in effort, working hard, creating something, creating um, abundance through art or a craft or a skill. We definitely have somebody here that is skilled, but that Three of Pentacles reversed is, but that's, that's right now, okay? That's the death, not over, not working. Maybe somebody hasn't been working with you. They haven't been putting in much effort and they're going to start to. I don't know, let's keep going. Or you're going to decide to put in effort elsewhere. That's what I just heard. You don't work well. It's been holding on to this dead end is getting old. This person doesn't work well with you. You may be becoming grounded. I mean, this is somebody that is very practical, very realistic, very grounded, very responsible, very loyal. This is somebody who wants abundance. Maybe that's the energy you're taking on. It's like, I want something solid. I want something secure. I want something real. I, this is the king of value as well. I know my value. So we got somebody here that is, is knowing their value. Whether it's you or the other person. Page of Wands, reverse in the future. So that is not good news, okay? So you may be receiving some bad news. I mean, I just got to be honest with you. Nobody wants to hear that, and I know Leos really don't like to hear it, okay? No offense or anything, but I, I've done my homework, okay? They really do not like to hear bad news. Very optimistic. I want to be optimistic. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to believe it. Um, page of Wands, reverse. That's bad news, a setback, Um you may be dealing with somebody that's not very well suited for you. You could be dealing with somebody that's very immature. You may be not seeing something clearly because that's a lack of vision. There is a lack of vision here. Um, negative, 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 negative thinking. Anyway, let's keep going and then we'll get some more. Empress reversed. Lovers reversed. Ooh. Ten of Wands reversed. Letting go. There's a female here that doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of her children. She doesn't take care of her home. She doesn't take care of her family. She's very unhealthy, whether it's you or the female that you're dealing with. There is a female here that is not very nurturing. She's overly protective. She's mean-spirited. She's not a very good mother. She doesn't, she doesn't feed things. She doesn't nurture things. She's got a body image problem, and that's the Page of Wands reversed as well. She has an, a, a problem with her body, so she, and she also has a problem with her self-value and her self-worth. She doesn't take care of things. She's very needy. She is high-maintenance. She 
doesn't know her value. There's going to be a separation with this lover's card reversed. The lover's card, and that is in your outside influence. So that's a separation, no compatibility. There's a lack of compatibility. There's a lack of shared values. There's a lack of attraction. There's no desire to uh, put effort into this. And I see it with the Three of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Uh, letting go. This is heavy. It's a burden. It's, it's very heavy to hold on to. Um, somebody needs to let go. It's time to relax. It's time to, there's, it's time for, to let go and relax. Let's get the overall outcome. Something has been weighing you down. There's losing weight as well or lost weight, dropping weight. You may have a female here that's very unhealthy. She, there is unhealthy here. Not doing. Somebody's not doing what they said they were going to do. Two of Swords, overall outcome. Now, this is a painful, stressful decision. It is. There's been some, there's some sort of blockage here, blocking the truth. Opposition. <laughs> Excuse me, it's just a dry cough. Nothing comes up anymore. Anyhow, what else do we got? There's going to be a realignment. Justice. There could be news of legalities here as well. We could have a separation with the lover's card. Three of Wands in the past. That is get prepared. There's going to be a departure. Somebody's departing. They came, now they're leaving. Or something happened, you know. There's, I feel like there's a departure here. This is, I feel like we have somebody here that is ill as well. I do. We may even have a doctor or a professional with this King of Pentacles that is making some sort of judgment. And I don't even need the judgment card because that karma looks like scales. It looks like, I don't know if there's court involved or something like that. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. That's putting in effort. Investi I feel like this looks like it's some sort of investigation as well. Somebody's really looking at the details. They're really looking at the details. There may have been something that was missed. Could have something to do with a child. I'm not sure. Page of Wands reverse could be a child. There's somebody that is saying something as well. We may have a meddler here that is butting their nose in. This is a setback. There is some sort of bad news. I do apologize. I feel like there's uh, somebody here that's not doing what they, they don't communicate well. They don't communicate. And that's a red flag. Lack of communication. It's like when you don't answer things, you know, they, they, that's a red flag. It's like you're trying to hide something. I don't know if it's you or them. Um, three of pentacles reversed. Lack of teamwork. Doesn't work well with others. Doesn't communicate freely. This is, there even could be a near-death experience. I'm just being honest. The death card reverse can be a near-death experience. And holding on is getting old to this, I don't know if it's a third-party situation, or to this person that doesn't put in effort. They don't do what they say. They're never going to change. Two of Swords. Painful, stressful decision. In denial. What is this Two of Swords? The moon, all is not as it seems. Somebody's been ignoring something, okay? They have been ignoring something. Um, there's hidden forces here that it's, they're gonna, something has been hidden. Interesting that I said hidden and I didn't have the card. It was like something is hidden. Somebody is hiding something. They're blocking. There's some sort of illusion here. There's, there's addictions or uh, something like that. Blocked, blocking the truth, ignoring the truth, in denial, in denial, only looking at the surface, not seeing. Somebody hasn't been seeing or they've been ignoring the truth. There's some sort of illusion here. All is not as it seems. I feel like something is going to be revealed. I really do. I feel like there's a problem. There's an unseen problem ahead. Something that was not seen clearly or has been ignored is going to be brought to the light. That's what I think. Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is somebody that is uh, intuitive, 
emotional, um, expressive of feelings. We could have somebody here that is, I want to say social services, and I don't know why. I feel like there's somebody in social services that is getting involved, and I don't know why. Um, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is somebody that is a lover that listens to their gut, listens to their intuition, follows their heart. I also feel like there is somebody that has been ignoring their feelings. So this is a completely different message and other than that. So maybe this person works for social services or something like that. I don't know. Um, anyhow, the Knight of Cups is a lover. It could be an arrival of a lover. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. You need to open yourself up. I feel like you're blocking. You're very, very fearful. The moon card is fear and two of swords is blocking. So there's a lot of fear here. You need to let go of something, you a partnership, because underneath it is the lover's reversed. Ten of wands reversed, but the lover's reversed underneath it. Let go of a partnership that is not compatible. You need to not hold on to that. It's time to relax, open up, stop blocking by letting your fears control you. There is a woman here that does not take care of business. She's very self-centered. Uh, she doesn't nurture things. She doesn't even take care of herself or her children. Um, there's going to be some sort of separation because holding on to this is definitely getting old. It's just weighing you down. Maybe some of you, this is weight. Some of you need to focus on your weight. Some of you, you know, this is like either you need to lose weight or you need to gain weight. There's a weight issue here. Um, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, this is somebody that really acts with the heart, does something um, heartfelt. There could be somebody, ooh, tower reversed on the bottom. Now, this is an unavoidable change. It's not, it's, you can't avoid it. You, it's unavoidable. You, you can't avoid it. This is a permanent life change. Life is about to change. We have somebody here that is very intuitive, that is, that is doing something. This is intuitive. This is also a healer. I want to say a healer, a lover, somebody that knows. There's some sort of instability here. There's some sort of falseness. There's some sort of lies. Somebody has been in a foundation that is not stable. It's unreal. It's... Uh, insecure there's been a lot of lies there's been a lot of uh things that are hidden whatever has been hidden is going to be revealed somebody is coming out of a false sense of security it's it's universally driven okay the universe is forcing they're forcing somebody into a stable solid situation starting over from a clean slate is definitely evident with that that card and this card okay somebody's going to be starting over they are they're going to be starting over with a clean slate they're going to be starting a new chapter building a new foundation there is uh, an opportunity for love here if you got if you're looking for love there could be somebody an admirer that is coming in um this is making a move so somebody is going to be making a move um Looking for love, looking for a relationship. We have somebody here that is losing weight or they're dropping a burden. They're dropping something. They're letting something go. They've had a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear. Two of swords with the moon together. That's big fear. Huge fear. Blocked by fear. Following the heart, letting go of something they were hanging on to. It does have to do with a partnership and a woman that is not very loving, okay? This empress in reverse is, is not an empress. Does not love unconditionally, only with expectations. And doesn't nurture things. So we definitely have a woman here that doesn't nurture things. There's going to be a separation from this woman. She's not an empress. She may uh, have multiple partners or she doesn't know her value. You know, she, she doesn't want commitment. Or she's very needy. She may be possessive, uh, overprotective as well. This is a very overprotective woman. Um, she's about to lose. She's, she doesn't take care of things. She doesn't nurture things. It's like she's not feeding. She's not feeding the 
partnership. Right above it is the lovers reverse. She's not feeding it. She's not giving. That's why we had the six of pentacles in reverse at the beginning. This is not giving. This is this about equality. It's about give and take. It's about reciprocation. And there's an obstacle that is being removed with that eight of swords reverse. So somebody has been staying in their safe space. It's safe, but it's they're not getting, okay? They're not getting what they need. And it's like prison. I got to break free from this prison. And I do feel like we have freedom here. We do have freedom here with the Ten of Wands reversed and that Eight of Swords reversed. But there's been a lot of fear. Following the heart. Following the heart. Somebody's going to be following their heart. Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So we're all here. Anyhow, right on. I put the Queen of Swords with the Page of Wands reverse. Somebody's going to be delivering some information. Could be a professional. This could be a professional that is saying something. Could be, could be you know, a, I mean, the Queen of Swords, she does something. She's in a professional uh, position. Okay, whatever she does, she's she's professional at it. She's going to be saying something, <coughs> delivering some sort of information. It is the truth. Has to do with a child or it has to do with an individual that is not putting in effort. This person has lost their focus. They're going downhill. Queen of Swords, she's very authentic, she's very truthful, she tells it like it is. There's poor health here, somebody is very unhealthy, or they're in an unhealthy partnership where they're not compatible with this person. There's a separation, there is going to be some sort of separation, it may have to do with a mother. I mean, we may have a bad mother here, just saying. Or somebody's cheating, or there could definitely be cheating with the lovers next to the empress reversed you know anyhow there's some truth that is about to be delivered this is somebody that wants to cause or they are going to cause some problems i'm not sure if they want to it's the truth whatever they're saying it's the truth may have to do with a lover may have to do with a relationship may have to do with a child there is some sort of information that is about to be delivered okay it's not good news okay it's not we get the knight, we get the Queen of Swords with the Page of Wands reversed. That is not good news, okay? But this news forces, because we had that tower reversed, forces a change. Oh. Ooh. I hope you're ready. There is going to be something that is revealed, okay? There's absolutely no doubt about it. Things are about to change. There could be a change in, in your living situation. This is, you know, a shock, a surprise. Somebody's about to, something is, that has been hidden. I was clarifying that two of swords and the moon is about to be revealed, okay? This is a major change. It's a major life change. It's a disruption, okay? This is a necessary evil. Something is falling apart. There's going to be upheaval. There's going to be chaos. Somebody has been lying about something. They have. They have. Two of swords, moon, and the tower. They have. Things are good. There's going to be a shakeup. There's going to be an uproar. It's going to change. And they're going to need to start over. You're going to be starting over from scratch. You're, and this is karmically driven, okay? It's, it's all part of the plan. Some of you are going to be moving. You're going to be going somewhere. Um... Moon, moon, all is not as it seems. There's hidden forces here. There definitely is next to the tower. There's hidden forces here. Universe is in control. This is Mars energy. It is. That's Mars and Uranus energy. So absolutely, there's gonna be there's gonna be something that is revealed. Something that has been ignored has, is going to be revealed. Um, it's gonna change your circumstances drastically, drastically. Maybe and it could be this. Somebody could be moving into your home because we have that Knight of Cups headed towards it. No, I don't know. Or moving out of your home. Um, 
We have somebody here that is coming in. This person does have good intentions. There's going to be a major shakeup that changes your circumstances. Could be a fight, could be an accident, could be something that is revealed that was in, you were in denial about. And I do see denial or they were in denial about. Somebody's been held back by fear. Absolutely. They could get thrown out. I wonder if there has been some cheating. I don't know. The tower. Major disruption in a foundation. There's been some lies. There's been some sort of delusion with that moon. All is not as it seems. There's that light, the, 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 the lightning bolt. That's the light that shines, you know, that gets rid of the shadow and shows the truth. Something is being shown, okay? And it's going to cause chaos. There's a realignment here. Whatever is coming, it's a blessing in disguise. That's what the tower is. The tower is a blessing in disguise because you're going to be free. That ten of wands reverse is free. Somebody's breaking free from something, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing. Same with the eight of swords reverse. This is freedom, freedom from a from a false sense of security, a false contract. Lovers reverse is a false contract. Karma card is a contract. This is freedom. This is the paying off a karmic debt. I'm, I'm positive that's what this is. Um. Major loss, it is um, separation, lovers, reaver. whoever you are dealing with is separating. They're making the choice to separate because that's in your outside influence. The lovers reversed. <coughs> Excuse me. You may be dealing with somebody that is choosing to separate from a, well, there's a feminine here and it could be you that's choosing. Somebody is choosing to separate from a feminine that does not do things with unconditional love. She doesn't nurture things. She's not a creator. She's lazy. She's needy. She's, uh, I don't know, maybe she's obsessive. She doesn't take care of things. Maybe she doesn't even take care of herself. She's boring. And there is boring here as well. But we have an individual that has been procrastinating because fear has been stopping them. But anyhow, whoever you're dealing with is making a choice. They're making the choice to separate because that's in the outside influence. That's what it looks like to me. Let's get one more card on that lover's card reverse. That is a separate. It's choosing to separate. That's, that's choosing. It's like, I don't, I don't want to be a part of this. So they may be choosing to separate from a woman or you're, you know, or they're choosing to separate from you. Seven of Cups reversed right next. These are both cards of consequences, which is pretty e interesting. Uh, so Seven of Cups reversed is seeing clearly, coming out of confusion, seeing clearly. Somebody has been confused, okay? They weren't sure what the best option was. Now they see very, very clearly that this is not compatible. So I feel like this is gonna this is definitely an opportunity because of that opportunity or windfall card. There's gonna be a realignment. You're gonna be starting over, creating a new story. This is a new beginning. Something is gonna happen that forces you to do so. Good luck.